For anyone serious about improving life quality, Blinkist seems like the no-brainer app to get. I mean, you save tens of hours from reading the whole books to get the same information packed into 15-minute summaries. But thinking this a little bit more deeply, a couple of questions popped in my head. I mean, who decides what's a key insight? And second, can big concepts even be packed in 15-minute summaries? To save you time and possibly money, I thought to document the journey of trying this app myself to ultimately understand is Blinkist worth it and what is the best way to use it. So mission one, find out if Blinkist is worth it. Game plan, get the app, see the selection, listen to books that I have heard are good, listen to books that I have never heard of, then listen to books I have already read to see if it's even better than reading the actual books. I actually got the app for free from a friend as you can create two accounts under one subscription and use it on multiple devices. I think this is definitely a benefit on this one. After downloading it, I noticed that there are like more than 5,000 books available. So I'm freaking excited about this one. The only problem now is to decide which one should I listen to first. And I would say you just have to pick one before stressing too much and going into the famous analysis paralysis. I'm choosing to listen to the four agreements as I have heard so much good about it. So I just finished the first book and it was just 13 minutes. I like that there was a clear structure. There was the introduction, then the blinks, kind of the key ideas, and then there was a summary. And I like that in the end of the episode, they had like this call to action based on the lessons of the book. So they were telling that in this thing you learned this and therefore this is the action that you could now take. I have now listened to two books back to back that I really didn't know before. And I think both of these books were good, but I cannot say I really learned something new from them. And actually this made me realize a nice benefit. In a bookstore, you would need to be very careful which book to choose, because if you choose the wrong one, you could, you know, waste a lot of time reading something that will not get you anywhere or teach you something new and then of course also the money that you paid for it but with blinkist this is not an issue at all you can experiment all different kinds of books and i mean the worst case scenario is that you lose like 20 minutes which is probably the same time that you would lose anyway every morning scrolling instagram on the bathroom I'm currently cleaning the house and taking out the trash and I'm listening to the 4-hour work week. I have to say this one is the best so far that I have listened to. Very well made, very thorough, very practical. Something Blinkist does very well compared to these audiobook services is that they add these sound effects on the background. So if there's some story, they can change the music based on that. So for example, in this book, they talk about habits and learning to play guitar. And on the background, they put these guitar sounds. Also, the readers can really change the tone. So sometimes they speak faster, sometimes slower. So this is as well with Blinkist, like a whole entertaining experience while you're listening to it. One of the main reasons why I'm trying Blinkist exactly now is because I'm on a holiday and I got a lot of time on my hands. The next two weeks I'm using Blinkist every day while sunbathing and chilling at the beach. I'm listening to books about various topics to kind of reset and get new ideas for the upcoming months. So far on Blinkist I have listened to mainly self-help books. Uh, they have been about different topics, relationships, uh, productivity, habits, money, like all types of stuff. And still I have noticed that many of them have very similar stuff in them and I think this is a common phenomenon in the self-help niche. It comes down many times to these certain core type of things like meditation or positive thinking or something like this. It makes me just realize how much time you can save using service like Blinkist because I could spend 20 minutes a day reading and that would total up to 122 hours a year. If I would spend that time reading, just getting theory and many times even the same stuff, I feel like I would miss out on a lot of things I would like to achieve in life. In general, I have to admit so far, I have been completely satisfied, very happy about this service. I can choose the books, they have so many of them. Still, I have to admit that I'm a little bit skeptical that Blinkist could always, every single time, take the right things from the books. That's why I will listen now to a few books that I have read myself two or three times each, so I know them very well. So I, just to, you know, see 
if actually Blinkist agree with me on what is the most important thing in these books. The first book that I'm listening to is Mark Manson's The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. I have made my own summary of this book and I have to admit that listening to the Blinkist notes of it was like listening to my own. A very accurate summary. The next one is Mindset by Carol Dweck and again the main ideas are very well presented in the summary. In my opinion, reading the whole book would only help if you want more in-depth information about the scientific research and results behind the book. The last one is High Performance Habits by Brendan Bouchard. With 432 pages, the book itself is long for a self-help book and with the 18-minute summary, Blinkist wasn't quite able to match my own summary, but that was not a surprise for me as I have written down even the smallest practical advice from it. But once again, Blinkist got the most important points definitely right. What I learned from this test was that one, the people at Blinkist are doing a great job. And two, if you like some Blinkist summary very much, I suggest to get the whole book. It will probably give you even more useful advice rather than just being a full repetition. It's day 20, so let's jump straight into the pros and cons I have realized so far. And the first one is that there are a lot of books. I think this is both a pro and a con, just because there are so many that you can choose from, but on the other hand, it can be difficult sometimes to choose and it can leave you, you know, feeling frustrated and also that you jump from a book to another all the time. Another pro is that it really saves you a lot of time. Many life lessons in books are tied to some stories that the author wants to explain and I thought that Blinkist would completely get rid of this as many times you don't want to read 100 pages to just learn one life lesson but actually they did even something better. They took the story and made it much shorter that you can understand the context and what the other wants to explain to you, but then they took everything else away from that story like any extra thing. One con I would say is that Blinkist really requires active listening. So if you are somebody who just wants to listen to something passively, I would suggest podcast over Blinkist because it's made for people who want to learn things and learning usually requires that you are alert. But still I wouldn't say that it's difficult. I think that the summaries are quite easily digestible and also there are a lot of call to actions that help you to understand and know what you should do next. Another con I would say that there's not really at least yet a rating system that the users you know could rate the summaries and other users could see it. I think this is something that maybe Blinkist could in the future add to the app. Some more pros are the music and sound effects I just think that they are really amazing and make the audio experience so much better and of course for me it's important that it really saves you the stress of having to pick the right book every time and also you can share the account with a friend and on top of that I actually found out that you can give a one month free to another friend if you buy the full year subscription. And some little pros are that you can find these quotes of the important parts of the books. You are able to download these books so you can listen to them offline and you can easily suggest Blinkist what books they should add to their selection. I'm now sure that the service is really worth the money, so mission one, complete successfully. Based on the pros and cons list, if you think that Blinkist would fit you too, you can find a link to the product page in the description. And just to be 100% transparent with you, as I like to be, I'm getting a small commission of it if you buy it through that link, so I can continue to make more videos like this in the future. Thanks guys. Buckle up as we are entering the mission two, game plan. Create a method to find the right books. Test reading the transcript while listening. Try multitasking while listening. Test writing notes while listening. Let's go! After a little bit of trial and error, I feel like now I have been able to find a nice method for choosing books worth listening to. Step one is to go to the explore section and choose a category here that interests you. As you can see, there's a bunch of options, but let's say personal development. Step two is to choose a topic inside the category. So here you can see a lot of like sub topics. So let's say that we would like to put routines and habits. And if you can't find one, no worries, just skip to the step three, which is to open the list of popular uh, that you can find here and you can click more to see them all and then save all interesting ones to your own library. Let's say that I would like this, my morning routine, and I just click here to save it. And then I would go through all this and uh, put here 
the ones that interest me. And then step four is to go to your own library here and check the book descriptions, what the book is about and who is it for. This way you can save yourself some time, like for example this, uh, get out of your head, stopping the spiral of toxic thoughts. I thought that this would be a good book to listen to, but later I checked who's it for, Christian women looking to deepen their faith, which I'm not, as I'm not religious, so therefore this book isn't really for me. Of course I could listen to it, but I feel like I can listen to something more interesting, something that will be more worth of my time. So then if the book isn't good, then you just tap it here, unsave and that's it. Next up on my list is to test reading the script while listening and right from the get-go I realized that this is a great way to use Blinkist as it helps so much to keep your focus on the book. I was even able to listen with a faster speed so actually it also increased my productivity. If the efficiency rate of just listening is let's say 5 out of 10, I will give this method 8 out of 10. Let's try next some multitasking and study while running. Yeah, this isn't really working. I feel like when I'm running, I'm missing more than half of the stuff that I'm listening. Uh, when I'm walking, it's a little bit easier, but I just have to all the time stay present and alert. I don't think that I will continue doing this. And the funny part is that I'm actually listening to a book called Essentialism that is telling me that I should focus on what is the most important thing and not try to multitask, so <laughs> pretty ironic. And then the one I have been waiting for the most, writing notes while listening. I'm listening again the book Essentialism by Greg McEwen as I wasn't able to get much out of it yesterday. This worked so well. I understood the book very well, I got a lot of notes and now it's just very easy for me to read them and start thinking how can I implement these things in my own life. It's day 30 and the mission 2 is finally done. During these 30 days in total I listened to 24 books and I got so many new ideas for my relationships, career and I'm so freaking excited to start doing and putting all these ideas in practice. With Blinkist and these ideas that I shared with you I'm sure you can do the same. If you got some value from this video and want to give back, get Blinkist using the link in the description as it helps out the channel. Thank you so much for watching, remember to stay kind and meaningful in your own beautiful journey. Seve signing out, until next time, ciao!